let's talk about making newspaper pots. Newspaper pots are a great hack to have for your garden. They cost nothing to make. They're very, very useful. And I really like that there's zero carbon footprint. I don't even have to go out to get the newspaper. It just shows up in flyers at my house. So all you need to make these really useful pots is newspaper like this. This is not glossy newspaper. This is the kind of newspaper where it feels like paper. If you rubbed a damp finger over it, the ink would run. This is the right stuff. This is glossy just to show you the wrong stuff. You can see it's got a little bit of a shine. It feels very smooth. This sometimes has a plastic coating, not safe to use um, in your garden in the same way. So avoid this one and a bottle. Your bottle should have a concave bottom so that it's got this depression. You can stick a finger up in here. This is where you're going to fold your newspaper. So it's very important that it has this shape, but otherwise it can be any size that you like. So to get started, I don't even use scissors. I just take my newspaper. And I like to, I like to tear it in half like that to give me a long piece that I can wrap around the bottle a couple of times that won't be too tall. So let's take this one and I'm gonna wrap it around. What I'm aiming to do is I want this overhang to be just more than half the diameter of the bottle, but I can adjust that when I have it all wrapped up. Wrapped around my bottle like that. And I can see looking in that this is a little too high up. So just ease it down a bit. Let's see. Yeah, that looks just about perfect. So now I start where I've got my open edge and I'm gonna fold it down and into that depression. And then I'm gonna go around the whole thing like that until it's all folded around and into that depression, just like that. Now, I don't know if I need to, but my habit is then to put it down and give it a twist. I feel like that makes my edge a little crisper. Whether it does or not, eh, who knows. And then I just take it off the bottle. So sometimes you can twist it off, sometimes you can pull it, oh yeah, this one I can pull it off like this. Sometimes I just pinch a little and pull it off little by little like that. You get it off. And there, oh good. I'm actually kind of glad that that's tippy because I want to show you if they're tippy like that, you can, sometimes you can just pinch it and that will work, which it is. Or the other thing that will always work, let me make one that's a little bit tippier, how to fix it. Now I know I can make a tippier one if my fold is much more than halfway into the bottom. See how much that overlaps? This one's pretty guaranteed to make a tippy pot, but let's have a look. This pot is still good. If this happens to you, you don't have to start over. So all I'm doing there is I'm a little bit supporting it with my finger and now put a little bit of soil into it. Of course you'd fill it up more when you're ready for your plant, but now it's perfect. So that's fine and you can move that around and it's gonna be just fine, especially as it settles a little bit, it'll settle into its shape. When I'm ready to put my plants into these pots, they will easily last and not break down until I'm ready to either put them into the garden. You know, sometimes I've even had plants that were quite small and I ended up not transplanting them. These newspaper pots last the whole season. They're a really wonderful garden hack to have. So I'm really pleased I got to share that with you today. If you're going to plant the whole newspaper pot out into the garden when you're ready, and there's nothing wrong with that, the worms will break it down. What I would do is I would make sharp little stab cuts with a sharp knife all around here, just to allow your roots to escape a little bit more easily. What I tend to like to do, I tend to like to unwrap this when I'm ready to plant my plants, and then I just tear it up and I throw it in the compost. 
the ink that's printed on this non-glossy newspaper is almost 100% soy based. It's safe for the garden. You don't have to worry about adding it to your compost or adding it directly to your garden. Not going to cause any problems at all. You don't have to worry about drainage holes in these pots either because it's paper and water will drain out of it freely. So they're a really lovely uh, low cost trick to have. So there you have it. Thank you very much for listening to me go on about newspaper pots. I hope I've convinced you if you hadn't tried these before already. Um, and thank you very much to everybody who's been subscribing and liking my videos. It means a lot. I have some, I hope, uh, interesting videos planned for this season. So I hope to see you back here soon. Have a great day.